Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set a custom resolution on Mac Sequoia. This is going to work on any Apple, Silicon, Mac, or Intel Mac. I'm going to be showing you the free method on how to do so. We're going to be able to set any custom resolution that's compatible with your display. And we're going to be able to do stuff like set a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, whereas the default MacBook Air is 16 by 10. If you have a Mac with a notch at the top of the screen, then this is going to help avoid that as well. And it's going to be more compatible with a lot of games too. So if you haven't subscribed to what, then please consider subscribing. First, we're going to go to this website, which we're going to leave a link to in the description. And this is a free piece of software. So all you need to do is to go to the download section here. And then we click on this big screen icon here to download the software. So once we've downloaded it, we're going to go into Finder, and then we're going to go to our Downloads folder, and then we'll double click on Switch Res X Installer. Here's asking us to confirm whether we want to open it. Press Open. And now it's opened a new preference pane on the bottom of your Settings menu. So here we can click Switch Res X, and then you can tap on this icon here in order to open up the main menu. So this is the main menu for Switch Res X, and today I'm going to show you how to set a custom resolution. So if we go down to the bottom of the screen here, and click on Color LCD. This is my 16 by 10 aspect ratio MacBook Air display. You can see some of the display information here. So what I'm going to do is to click on this Current Resolutions tab, and if you scroll down, you'll see various resolutions. However, you can see that they're all either 16 by 10 or 4 by 3. So if we want to add a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, that what we need to do is go to Customer Resolutions. In order to add a customer resolution, we first have to install the helper tool. So if you haven't done this already, all you have to do is click on About Switch Res X, and then what we need to do is to click this button here, which says Install Helper Tool, and we're going to type it in our admin password. And now the helper tool has been installed. Then we'll go back to Color LCD, and go back to Custom Resolutions. And now this plus button here is not gray out anymore. I'm going to press plus here. And now what I'm going to do is to type in a custom resolution. So I like recording my videos in 1920 by 1080. So this is the horizontal resolution. And this here is the vertical resolution. So here I'm going to press OK. And here we have the new customer resolution with the aspect ratio here. Here it's saying that the status is not saved. In order to save the resolution, what we need to do is basically close the switch, re-X window. And it's basically going to prompt you and say, do you want to save the setting before quitting? I'm going to press save here. And for that customer resolution to kick in, what we need to do is to restart the computer. So once we restart the computer, we're going to go back to System Settings, and I'm going to scroll down and click on Switch Res X again. And when we've got the menu open, we're going to go back into Color LCD, and then back to Customer Resolutions. So you're going to see here that the custom resolution is now active. So that means that if we go to Current Resolutions, It's going to be one that we can now select. So we're going to do is to find the one that we've created, which is this one here. And once I click this button, then the whole screen is going to flip from 16Y10 to 16Y9, I know, which I'll show you now. So now you can see that this is in a 16Y9 aspect ratio. And basically everything that you do now is going to have these horizontal black bars at the top and the bottom. And that accounts for the missing vertical resolution. However, this is going to be better for some types of content creation. Alternatively, it's possible to set different aspect ratios as well, but they have to be supported by your laptop's internal display or whatever external monitor you're using. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.